The governor's office, too, has expressed full-throated support for Israel and the Jewish community. We are privileged to welcome tonight Lieutenant Governor Antonio Delgado. Prior to becoming Lieutenant Governor, he served in the United States House of Representatives, representing New York's 19th Congressional District. Last Rosh Hashanah, he and his wife, Lacey Schwartz Delgado, herself an important leader in the Jewish community, worshiped with us. So we are honored to welcome the Lieutenant Governor back tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, Lieutenant Governor Antonio Delgado. Thank you, Rabbi Davidson, uh, to Mayor Eric Adams, to the Ambassador, uh, to everyone uh, here this evening in the spirit of love and solidarity. I live in Dutchess County. It's about two and a half hours north of the city. It's where I'm raising my two little boys, identical twins, 10 years old, with my wife, Lacey. Our boys are in the fifth grade. And when they were in the fourth grade, I had the ultimate pleasure of being able to try as much as I could on a daily basis to walk them to school. This was a dream of mine that I had for many, many years. The school was just around the corner from from where we live, not a far walk, about five minutes. But since they've been fifth graders, they started walking on their own with their friends, getting a little more independence. This morning was different. I was on the road, but Lacey decided that she wanted to walk them to school. For those who don't know, my wife is black and Jewish. She comes from a long line of New York Jews from Eastern Europe who came to the States through Ellis Island. Our boys are Jewish. And today, she shared with me there was a palpable fear in the air when she walked our children to school. When she got to the school, there was a group of Jewish parents checking in on each other. We're hurting, and we are grieving, and the fear is real. My heart is heavy this evening, and I say this not just as your lieutenant governor, but from a far more intimate place as a husband and as a father. The unspeakable acts of evil and depravity committed against our Jewish brothers and sisters in Israel are beyond comprehension. The sheer brutality, ruthlessness, and complete disregard for human life, for the life of our children, shakes my soul to the core and to no end. Hate. Hate is what brought all of this to bear. Hatred of Jews in this instance. But make no mistake about it, hate is indiscriminate. Hate is the enemy of life, of peace, of love. It is ignorant, it is diabolical, and it is destructive. Hate has been unleashed, and it continues to terrorize. But I come to you this evening knowing with every fiber in my being that hate is not who we are. It is not our essence as human beings no matter where we come from. For life is love, and there is nothing more natural to the human heart than to love. 
In this time of profound grief and agony, please know, as Dr. King once preached, that love is the most durable power in the world, the greatest force in the universe. In these dark days, let us hold on tight to the light of love and find strength in its infinite power. With love in my heart, I stand with you this evening and always. The state of New York proudly stands with you and will do so always. And this administration will do everything we can to ensure our Jewish community is protected and supported always. And we will do everything that we can to ensure that all New Yorkers from every walk of life, no matter the religion, are protected from hate and supported with love. I want to thank the NYPD for surging additional resources to schools and houses of worship and key neighborhoods across the city. State police have increased patrols and outreach within Jewish communities across New York as well, including synagogues, yeshivas, and Jewish museums and cultural centers. State police are also working with local law enforcement to track threats posted on social media. And I want to assure you all that at this time, there are no credible threats to New Yorkers. But we will remain vigilant. We will look out for each other. And we will get through this together. The Jewish community in New York, in Israel, and around the world will have my unwavering support. Hate in any form will not have a home in New York. And in closing, I want to leave you with some words from the great Dr. King that I think are incredibly instructive in this moment. He says, oceans of history are made turbulent by the ever rising tides of hate. History is cluttered with the wreckage of nations and individuals that pursue this self-defeating path of hate. Love is the ultimate force that makes for the saving choice of life and good against the damning choice of death and evil. Therefore, the first hope in our inventory must be that hope is going to have the last word. God bless.